Hello, hello, hello. Please join in. If you don't have the notifications turned on, please do so. First of all, Eid Mubarak to everybody. Whoever is celebrating today, Eid Mubarak to you and your families. I hope you had a wonderful time. But today I'm here to talk about feminine energy and how it is important in your life and what benefits it gives you in your life overall, whether it's in your relationships, generally in your life, even at work, within your business, how feminine energy helps you attract more and stay more creative and produce the things that you should be producing in order to see abundance in your life. Hi, Alia. Thank you. Hello, Moin. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, let's move on to the topic. I hope everybody had a great Eid. I feel like this Eid is normally a little bit more quiet than the other one. And yeah, well, that's that. Okay, guys, let's talk about feminine energy. My first point would be when you start activating that feminine energy, what starts to happen pretty quickly is that you will see a lot of creativity flow through you just naturally without you doing much of the hard work, much of the brainstorming. I feel like for some people, which I have found with many of my coaching clients, for some people it's very difficult for them to tap into their creative side, right? And for you ladies especially, it's important to activate that feminine side, especially within your business, because then you can make more soul aligned decision within your business, right? You can create services and offers and products that are going to sell more, that are going to bring more, you know, uh, ideal clients, but also a lot more money into your business, right? So that is where the feminine part of creation is going to benefit you hugely at work because your creativity comes in. Now, when you see the most wealthiest people on earth, they're not the hardest working people. Like, if you talk about the hardest working people, they're going to be like, let's say the farmers, the cleaners, the ones that are clean um, at, at hotels, right? Like room service and stuff like that. Like these guys are super, super hardworking. But do they really earn? No, they don't because it's a very low paying skill, right? They're not using their creativity. Highest paying uh, positions will be where you have more humans involved, right? In my top 10%, uh, no, not the top 10% frequency, but in my 10K masterclass, I have a whole training on that. And I'm discussing there how certain positions make a lot more money and why and what is the spiritual reason behind that the manager of a hotel makes more money, but then the actual workers make a lot less, even though those are the ones that work physically more harder than the ones that are at bigger positions, right? We have a question, how much cash is more than enough for high value women? I don't like to put a cap on any like amount. Many of my clients have like 100K months, right? They have certain services that they sell. They have online offers that they sell and they do earn a lot more. You know, where for some people 10K, 20K a month is normal, but then you have people living right around you for them. And I'm talking about females right now, right? For them, 100K, 200K is the norm right so there is no such thing as how much is enough for a high value man or a high value woman there is no such thing because whether we talk about high value men or we talk about high value women one thing they both have in common they do not have a lack mindset they do not have a scarcity mindset right they're not saving those little coins because of that starbucks coffee i think that's like the worst advice that we've all gotten at some point worst advice ever don't go to starbucks save those coins for what you know how about we don't save those coins how about we look for ways and we put so much value on ourselves and our products and our service within our business that we can charge more and more and more and even earn passive income while we sleep so we can not just have one starbucks cafe coffee we can have multiple every day if we want to how about that how about we make more to afford even more of these bloody coffees? So, so if there's any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Turn on the notification so every time I come live, you will be notified. Sally, we have no space for you over here because you your questions are kind of irrelevant. What are we talking about, right? This is not your platform. Any Uber girls, Kareem boys trying to distract, you guys can get out of here uh, respectfully. I feel like TikTok is kind of like that place where uh, I think vulgarity is promoted a lot more than the real kind of content where people are actually talking about real things. But then it's okay. I'm quite new to TikTok, so I understand. It's only going to get better with time. As I go more live, more people are going to get to know what is the things that we talk about, right? 
So yeah, that's that. One thing in common high value men and high value women both have is that they always live in abundance. So there's no such thing that we should have a cap on the amount that we should earn. There's no such thing. You can make multiple six figures however many times you want or make less. If that's the only skill you have, let's say, then that's that. Does that make sense? So there is no such thing as, oh, I should only make this much because otherwise I won't be feminine anymore. There is no such thing. There is literally no limit on how much you should be earning as a high value woman. In fact, why not even more? How does that even affect you, right? So here's the idea. I know that in this whole femininity community, I think the topic of money is still kind of like, meh, I'm not sure. Mm, I think it's too masculine to talk about that and stuff like that. And I'm here to tell you that it's completely not, okay? It's totally okay to talk about these things. It's a very normal subject. In fact, the more we all learn, the more we can all be abundant and the more we all can grow and the more we all can earn together, what's wrong with that? So it's not a thing which we should not talk about just because some girls think it's a very masculine thing to talk about it's completely not it's actually in fact a very spiritual thing to talk about right because the way you earn money or the way you handle and manage your money and the way you deal with people who have money shows your spiritual side it shows us who the real you is right how you manage one thing is how you manage other things in life also how you handle one thing in life is how you handle other things in life also so tell me what is your relationship with money right now is it coming from like a goddess place where it's like abundantly everything is available for me i deserve it all uh it's my birthright i'm here for it bring it on bring more and more and more yes are you providing a service or a product or do you have an offer online that actually helps you open those energetic doors where money can actually flow into you quite flawlessly? Do you have that activated in your life? Because when you do, then there is no such thing as, oh, I'm only going to have this much amount and I shouldn't make more because otherwise uh, people will not like me anymore or I won't be accepted anymore. When you have that fear, just know that you are now functioning from a very uber girl, Kareem boy level. Okay, uber girls think like that, you know, they will be introduced to this world of feminine energy and they may think, oh, okay, so life gets to be easy. Ah, oh, that's nice. But they're not going to really do the work that it requires to actually get there. Does that make sense? Today, we have no questions. I understand it's eat today and my life today is very, very random. I am going for dinner and I thought, okay, before I go, let me just talk to you guys. I, I was feeling like I wanted to, you know, say something. So here I am. So yes, when you get in touch with your feminine side, creativity just flows through you. And now here's a fun fact. When you produce any product, any service, any offer, if you're a coach, if you're a trainer, if you are literally anything providing a service for people, when you are tapped into your feminine energy, you will create magic, right? So the wealthiest people, even if you look at like Elon Musk and people like that, where do you think they're creating from? Where do all these ideas come from? Every time we are thinking about innovation, creativity, just know that it always does stem from a feminine energy. Always. There is no other way. You cannot be tapped into masculinity and then create at the same time because they don't go together very well. So every man or every woman who's ever achieved, done a lot, there's always that feminine aspect involved in the creation of that very successful business, in the creation of that very successful product and a service. Without it, you will not be creative. Without it, you're not going to make soul aligned decisions where magic is going to be a result of that. Does that make sense? So ask yourself, what are you creating? And are you creating because you really, really want to be passionate about that certain product that you have or that certain service that you provide? What is it that really, really kind of gets you going or kind of turns you on, right? For girls, it's going to be different. And then for guys, it's going to be different. So you have to look into yourself and see, you know, think about, okay, what is it that I really love? If you are really, really into cars, then that's your thing. You know, if you're really into books, then that's your thing. If you are into... I don't know, writing and stuff. That's your thing. If you are into blogging, fashion, 
there is multiple hundreds of ways to open those energetic doors where money can start flowing into your life. What are you tapping into? That's the, that's the first question. What are you tapping into? The next thing, when you are tapped into feminine energy, another huge benefit that you're going to see is that you will start attracting a lot of amazing things into your life, right? So let's say that you want to attract, I don't know, like a higher frequency quality of life in general, a higher frequency person in your life, higher frequency sales and clients in your life. I think I have talked about this multiple times even previously and I do not mean to offend anyone but I have mentioned many times before where I only attract very like high quality, high frequency, high vibing coaching clients and students into my coaching programs, into my classes because they all are yearning to go to the next level. Like these are some of the most amazing creative feminine goddess energy activated human beings on earth right i cannot even begin to explain i don't know sometimes where they even come from but it's like oh my god the more i get to know these women the more even i'm learning the more even i learn it's like oh my god wow right and i feel like when you tap into that feminine energy you start attracting that and i've mentioned how many times before as well that i do not really work as much with low vibe low frequency kind of uh, stingy you know a lack mentality uh, people i just can't we do not function very well together they may watch me right now and they may feel very frustrated they may see me and they don't absolutely don't like me and that's exactly how we know that you are not my ideal client and i am not the coach for you but the ones that will be for me they will literally only hear my name and something inside of them will activate and be like lady isha ha huh, i think i've seen her before okay that's my girl that's my women get me into the course teach me more just guide me you know and most of the times these ladies don't need teaching as such most of the times it's really that push like that nudge right like that guidance all right girl I think your energy is being directed in the wrong direction. Let's redirect it to this thing because this is what you should be focusing on a lot more. And then it's like, oh, actually you're right. So normally it's a lot of that uh, guiding of energy, if that makes sense. Every girl is independent already. No girl needs your leg to all the time. Girls are already ruling. And so that, that's amazing. That's lovely. I love that. But if you do not need this lecture, then maybe my content is absolutely not for you, right? I feel like there is no need to women bash each other like that. This is my work. It's not yours. So on my platform, I do not allow anyone to dictate me, you know, whether I should do lives or not, whether I should post or not, whether people need lectures or not. Absolutely. If somebody needs that, this message is for them. If somebody likes to hear stuff like that, this message is for them. If it's not for you, I highly suggest you, you know, you can completely leave my space, I guess. Oh, you're giving us a lecture on e This is not a lecture. This is just information. You can take it or you won't. I do not care if it's Eve. I come online. I show up whenever the hell I feel like. Does that make sense? Because I'm a very creative. See, right now I'm tapped into my feminine energy. I am feeling creative. I felt like I wanted to talk about a certain thing. So here I am. It absolutely does not stop me that it's Eid today. And so, so I'm sure we've, uh, we've all celebrated enough. We've already done with the food. We are done getting ready. Done, done, done. I'm here. I, I'm still going to show up whether you like it or not. That's absolutely not my problem, right? So I feel like there's never any uh, need to shame each other because when we talk about feminine energy, we are not talking about toxicity, right? Feminine energy is just like, okay, I'm going to be me and I'm going to let others be themselves also. In your presence, people should feel like they can be themselves and that's that, right? And ask, where have you been? We have been kind of missing you in our recent lives because we always need a monitor and you have not been there. <laughs> just kidding. So yes, when you tap into your feminine energy, you start attracting things that are a lot better. You start attracting people that are a lot better. And you know what's so funny? Just today, I was thinking about this one thing. I was like, oh, recently, like just how we encountered one Uber girl right now uh, who didn't really vibe very well with my content, right? They always feel the need to say something mean and you know, all those things. But what I was thinking is, wow, a lot of that's been happening quite recently with me. 
I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not. A lot of my posts recently are not getting much engagement and I'm okay with that. That's fine. Uh, a lot of my lives do not have that many views as much anymore. A lot of girls are giving a lot of hate, you know, the men are like, yes, girl, because they understand, right? Uh, but a lot of ladies, I would again consider them the Uber girls, they absolutely hating everything right now because my message has shifted and gone to the next level, right? And that goes to show you what I keep telling you, that when you show up as your authentic self, a lot of people are not gonna like it. A lot of people are just gonna fade away, kind of, you know, I don't know what the word would, would be for that. Like they will just go away themselves. You don't have to brush them out with like a magic brush. They will just leave. You don't have to delete them. They are just going to leave. They're going to show you some hate. They're going to unfollow you. They're going to block you, right? And that happens to you also in your real life. That when you start going to the next stage of life, a lot of people will get triggered. A lot of people will see that as it's, it's an attack to their personal self. Why? Because they haven't done the work themselves as of yet. And they cannot see other people doing the work and, you know, getting further. If they see a redirection in messages, it's absolutely not going to resonate with them anymore. And you should be okay with that. If you ladies have um, a service online, you have an offer that you offer people online and stuff, show up however many times you want, shamelessly so, however much you want, right? Because it's your business you are supposed to show up authentically. You are supposed to be the one who takes that seriously, right? And the ones that are gonna resonate with you, they are the ones who's gonna stay. And the ones that absolutely don't like that, they can literally go away because that's great, right? Because think about it like that. When you level up, for example, and a lot of people start to leave that empty space, what does that mean? It's making space for the right people to come along. It's making space for, you know, the right clients to come along. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. When you tap into your feminine energy, another beautiful thing starts happening, you start to manifest a lot more. The more you manifest, the more you manifest. And I know that sounds kind of crazy and magical, but that's very true. If you guys have noticed, when you start manifesting small things, and this is what I would normally tell my clients as well, when you start manifesting small things, let's say, uh, well, I don't know, you can start manifesting three coffees all the time, literally. And that's a very small thing, by the way. That's a very small practice that you guys have to do. Slowly, slowly, you build that up. Slowly, slowly, you're like, oh, okay. A lot of things I'm not going to say online over here because... I don't know, sometimes you get judged for saying a lot of things. <laughs> Nowadays, you can absolutely not say something online that people are not going to get offended by. I know I should not care, but I better filter out some of the things. But sometimes you can manifest some amazing, magical, magical, magical things, right? Like, for example, I think one example I could give you with my personal self, I have that energy where people love to give me a lot of things, you know? And it's not that I will ever tell you or I say it. You just want to give me, right? Whether it's the guys, the girls, the students, men, women, uncle, auntie. I don't know what it is. Maybe they find me very radiant. Whatever it is, okay, maybe they find me radiant or whatever. But they always are the ones who want to give me. They want to help me in, in so many ways, right? I will find mentors out of nowhere. They want to guide me more. They want to help me more. You know, I'll, I'll you know, meet clients or men or women, wherever, randomly even at places, and they would want to do something for me. Now, I don't know. I, I think I have been thinking quite a lot about that. Like, why is it? You know, because these are some of the things that if you tell these kinds of things to normal, uh, the average girl, let's say, she'll be like, she may judge you for that. She may get triggered because she does not have that kind of life experience. She will not like that, right? However, my experience, of course, is going to be very different. You know, your experience is going to be very different. It depends what are you trying to uh, manifest, right? And then you have to radiate and activate that frequency uh, on that. Like you have to fine tune your frequency, which I talk a lot about that in my top 10% frequency course. It's so magical because whatever the hell you want or you desire activate that radiance activate that frequency that's it that's it in the beginning it's daily work i show you how to do that in the course in the beginning it's daily work soon enough it becomes second nature like every morning you wake up and you're like okay this this, this isn't that and i'm done 
and I'm done. It becomes second nature to you. You don't have to think about these things continuously, right? And certain things will become like that magical frequency of yours. And you will see, wow, a lot of magic starts to happen in your life. And when people see that, they may not like it. They may feel triggered. And that's okay. That is why we always move in silence, ladies. Frequency is real, no conspiracy. Frequency is very real. And what's so funny, I don't know why. It's just been, I think it's just been on my mind so much. You guys know I have uh, created my frequency course from such a heartfelt, soul aligned, like it just needed to come alive. That course needed to come alive. That's how I felt when I created that. I isolated myself completely during the creation of that course. I remember I was I had just moved to Dubai and there was so much inspiration and creativity flowing through me. And the, the way my frequency turned up, I can't even explain. <laughs> it was magical, it was wonderful. I don't have the words for that, right? Literally on purpose, isolated myself for like a good few weeks. And I'm like, this is coming up today, I have to talk about this. This is coming up today, I have to do this. This is coming up today and that's it. But that course, oh my God, I felt like that was magic happening right through me. This is how invested I was in my top 10% frequency course. And the funny thing is, it's been months and months that that course has been alive. It's like my baby, right? Uh, and I think it, it will always be my biggest baby. Everything else comes after that. Uh, that one is just, it's for the wholesome person. That's about it all. Values, morale, families, you know, family values the money part the abundant part the mindset yes turn it up that's it right it's just a whole lifestyle it's wonderful the way it's going to change you you're going to see but anyway i'm not here to talk about that what i'm telling you because it's been like it's my whole life right i have embodied that so much and so because i think about frequency a lot and I, it's a subject that i get to talk about with my clients a lot with my students a lot so recently Generally, on social media, I have been seeing a lot of people talking about frequency quite a lot recently. And I'm not saying this from a place of people are copying. No, no, no. It's a thing. I, I'm sure a lot of people are aware, but I'm sure a lot of people are 100% not aware. I can tell you, I can like guarantee you, uh, people uh, watching me on Instagram, let's say right now, I can tell you guaranteed 85% people at least are probably not aware how to tap into that frequency where they can get whatever the hell they desire and have a better life experience, better quality of life experience. They can instantly tap into that. Like no time delayed right now. That's it, right? And the more you do this work, the more it becomes second nature, as I said to you. And then every day you're vibing on a high frequency level. And of course, when you're on a higher frequency level, when you're radiating so high, of course, magic is going to be your best friend. Of course, magical things are going to happen in your life. Of course, everything comes your way with ease and grace. Doesn't even have to be struggle. Doesn't even have to be hard work. It gets to be easy because your frequency is that of an easy person. And there is literally so much science behind that. And I just wanted to be the one, if you feel resonated with this, of course, I would love to be the one who directs your energy towards these things because the way your life is going to change in the next coming years because of this work, well, you may thank me later for that. But again, if you resonate, I'm the person for you. And if you don't, maybe you'll learn it at some point later in life, maybe from someone else. And that's completely fine too. I totally believe only in working with people where you feel called towards and you feel like that magnetism and that's all. I think I would like to go out for dinner and I do have an invitation. So I'm still thinking, should I go? Should I not go? Sometimes I just, yeah, a little bit of an introvert, right? We always have this problem. Uh, should we go? In fact, we get the happiest sometimes when plans do get canceled. But no, today I'm not going to do that because I feel like today I'm dressed up. I did make a beautiful uh, reel also, just like a glam reel. I'm going to post that hopefully maybe today if I get the time or maybe tomorrow. The more you manifest, the more you manifest, right? Because once you start manifesting small things, more and more and more, like your faith becomes more stronger. It becomes more easy for you to tap into that frequency bit by bit, bit by bit. But however, if you only depend on feminine energy to manifest bigger things, it, it's going to take you a long time to actually learn the hack right it's gonna be like that movement where it's like oh yeah nowadays everything is working really magically for me nowadays 
it's going great okay today this happened okay tomorrow so there will be like this wave happen for you and that wave may have like a downfall at some point and then it will be like okay how do i get back on that trail how right and that is where frequency work comes in because when you do frequency work then it's like you have the hang of it already that's it then even when the waves come you're still on that strong holding position strong frequency nothing can move you away from that um nowadays no one can see other people doing well i yeah well i do i have to agree and disagree with this i absolutely feel like because i'm a person i love seeing people succeed i'll be the first one to congratulate you if you are getting married if you're graduating if you're doing something like tell me your good news i will be the bearer of good news myself also i love it i thrive on that i think it brings me great joy and similarly i have a lot of people that i work with or who have been my mentors and my gurus who were extremely happy when the world is winning and this is something that i learned also that you know even though i've always been i think a very like positive upbeat person if you know me personally you know i'm like crazy upbeat and like you know happy person uh, but more and more i was able to learn to really be happy for others like generally from a very heartfelt place is when i learned that the more you're going to be happy for others the more and more it's going to be yours that's it so you may call this selfish but it's true like magic god gives it to you yes so every time you tap into your feminine energy even elon musk does that <laughs> you tap into your feminine energy you create because that's where inspirational creation comes from i have told you guys this many times in my previous lives also that when you tap into your creative side right let's say you are getting in touch with your creative side your highest divine self in other words right that's like soul aligned relationship with yourself what happens is that's where you will find god god is the biggest creator god loves creating he has created the biggest things on earth that possibly none of us can right so he loves creating god is within all of us where would we find him we are not going to find god in the evil act in the cunningness in the sharpness in the rudeness in the disgustingness in the nastiness you know in the foul mouth we are not going to find him there he's within us you have to find him where are you going to find him when you are at your utmost best soul aligned in touch with your creativity in touch with your inner self the feminine energy it goes same for both men and both women when you are getting in touch with your inner higher self that's the feminine energy part and there's no shame in that if you're a man watching th this it is what it is that's just what it is right you use up your masculine energy all you want outside of the world you know trying to conquer this and make more money and do this and that and that's great but when you get get in touch with your own soul that's powerful and many people would say it's neutral but i would still say it's the feminine energy part right because it means that you're going to tap into your laid back relaxed being in the present moment you're still and you're listening to your inner voice and so much creativity and inspiration and magic is going to flow through you in that moment that you're only going to find god right there you know and then you will see the magic happen through you then you will see the real creativity come the things that you will create from that place magical of course they're going to bring magical results of course create space for that so i totally believe that 100% people can see each other succeed if i can there is millions of people who also can it's just can you i want you to ask this yourself are you the person who can, who can also hold that space for someone that if somebody succeeding in your presence are you happy for them there is another benefit that you will have when you tap into feminine energy you're also going to be able to be very self aware right when you become very self aware that also means that you know how sometimes i get these questions where sometimes ladies would ask somebody said this to me and i didn't know what to say in that moment i didn't know what to answer your mind is not present that's why you you zone out as soon as somebody says something you get out of there like your mind is somewhere else and then you start rationalizing and then you start thinking but that thinking comes to you very late maybe at night and then you're like oh why i didn't answer them 
Now, here's the thing. When you start tapping into feminine energy, you're more present in the moment and you practice that because it's a state of being, right? When you practice being in that moment, when you meditate, let's say, with time, you become more and more and more self-aware. When you become this self-aware, again, this is for both men and women, right? Uh, there's a huge community online that are like, that's it, tapped in, turned on, tuned in because they're very spiritual and meditation is just like their norm. That's like, like duh, you know. And when you do that, you become so self-aware and present in the moment that if somebody say anything to you, of course, yes, you will already know what to answer in that moment, yes because it's a state of being, you being present and fully knowing what's going on around you. And you're fully tapped into that feeling that lets you know what is right, what is wrong, this person is good, this person is evil. You don't even have to use your brain in that moment. Your feelings just know, like your gut knows everything. And I'm a huge believer in you know, listening to your gut, believing in your gut, because it's gonna tell you magical things that are way more truer than what your brain is gonna tell you after all the analyzing and rationalizing and all of that. I had this moments too where I'm completely mentally zoned out and maybe a lot is going on and your nervous system is kind of not that relaxed, right? And then you feel like, oh, somebody has said something bad to me. Somebody has some said something nasty to me, but I don't know. I'm gonna get triggered, I'm gonna get angry, I'm gonna start breathing faster because now I don't know what to say, right? And I'm not gonna be very relaxed, but later on I'm gonna think and the answers are gonna to come to me. Mm, I should have said that, oh, I should have said that, I should have done that, blah, 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 blah. But I think I've realized that the more I'm more self-aware or maybe more... Wow, that was loud. The more you're self-aware or maybe the more you're tapped into feminine energy or the more you are just kind of activated, right? It's like, even when people say things that even though you're so present that you know what to say, you know what's going on, absolutely you know, right? You know people's intentions, you know the, you know the uh, intentions, you know the, like, what, what do they mean by that? Like, you would just know. And when you know the energy of someone, you already know what to say. But the problem is, you will not say you will deal with things a little bit differently. Like for example, again, when you are tapped into your healthy side of feminine energy, not the toxic one, okay? Because a lot of uber girls can be very feminine also, but they come from a very, they come from a very unhealed place. They need a lot of healing because that's, that's the reason why their femininity comes out in very toxic ways that can harm other people, that can hurt other people. And that is a big indication that you need a lot of healing. So you better go to a therapist first because if you're getting triggered, of course, there are some underlying issues from childhood or you have been neglected, you haven't been hugged enough, you haven't been loved properly. Maybe you had a toxic parent in the house. Maybe you do come from a very uh, dysfunctional family. There could be a lot of things going on if you are functioning from a very uh, mean girl kind of place, <laughs> right? Look into yourself and look at people around you. If you see that mean girl energy, guide them towards healing, love and light because that is what they need, right? And coming back to the point, when you are so in touch with your femininity and you become so self-aware and so present in the moment, what happens is even though you know what to say, you kind of choose to navigate things in a different way. You know, like maybe 10 years ago, maybe like three years ago, you would have been very, crazy and loud and whatever but now it's just like hmm, all right gotcha i'm just not gonna entertain this though like it has to take a lot for someone to actually trigger the hell out of you that's what i'm saying that's the summary of this point you should be so present-minded so self-aware why is my nose always itching every time i'm live my nose starts to itch um is that weird is that because of the lights what is it my cheek area and like my nose, <laughs> this area starts to itch very bad. <laughs> Hello, Anam. How are you doing? You look beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you always have a lovely, lots of love. Thank you, Anam. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. I know you're also from London. We haven't seen you on my platform for a very long time. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a lovely eat also. Thank you for the wishes. That's so sweet. I always feel like such positive energy when you comment, honestly. I can say that because I have been, been hearing from you for so long uh, in my audience. So I know your energy. Supercar, yes. There's literally like supercars around here 24 seven. And I love it. Wonderful. I love all of this. 
It's a very rich energy that I'm always tapped into and wonderful people. But at the same time, in the middle of the night, well, it's not middle of the night right now, uh, but in the middle of the night, you get this voice and I'm like, oh God, no, 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 not at this time, please. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> so you start dealing with people on a different, in a different manner. It's more like, oh, I don't want to tap into this mean, triggered, yeah, let's not do that. Come on, we are not in high school, right? Every time I even uh, have people that I know or let's say some friends and they would like just say weird things and do weird things and I'm always like, hmm, how funny. Are we back to high school, huh? Literally, that's all I would say. I'm not gonna indulge. Like it takes a lot for someone to do and say a lot of things over and over and over and over and over again for me to even actually maybe get angry and say something back to you. Like, I'll give you so many, like, allow it, okay, yay. I know what's going on and I'll tell you, okay, you know what, let's not go there, allow it. But if it continues, I will snap and I'm out, you know? So that's what I'm trying to tell you, that if the old me, you know, uh, even though I was still very feminine, but again, it was not a very healed place. So when things would happen in my life, I would get triggered. Maybe I would be sad, maybe I would be crying, or maybe even say something mean back to you also, right? But it's like, now it's different. Now you just don't want to waste your energy because I keep telling you guys, your energy is like currency. Ladies and gentlemen, your energy every day is different. Some people, let's say the extroverts, have like tons of energy. I love you guys. I don't know how you do that. Literally, most of my close friends, they're all extroverts. How do you do that? I don't have that energy. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I'm an ambivert, okay? Some days I have a lot of energy. Some days, zero. And then you have the introverts. They have, they have their own world, their own zone. I love that also. But here's the thing. The fact is, your daily level of energy that you have only you know when you know this is the amount of energy i have uh spend it like it's currency be very mindful with it be very smart with that okay this is the energy i have where am i going to spend it today hmm? you're going to spend it on things that are important for example i have energy i will show up in my business i will come live i will make the pose i will answer emails i will send out some beautiful emails that i have written i will talk to clients i will give time to you know family talk to family if i want to cook i will do that if i want to just sit by the pool all day maybe go to the gym sometimes it's very different right like it's like these variations of like it's a wave comes and goes comes and goes but we only have a certain amount of energy on a daily basis know what energy you have on a daily basis right and then spend that wisely as if you're going to spend your money that's how you should spend your energy i tell you a secret by the way the reason when you see people okay let's say you see a person who's very very radiant i feel like i have tapped into my radiance quite a lot even more now with time and i'm saying that because for me it took work right and it's totally doable there's only one secret we all have you know what that is we spend our energy very wisely. You can possibly not push us towards um, something that doesn't sit well with us, right? Like some people kind of go crazy, like shopping, shopping, this, that. Okay, I will do it only if I feel like. Otherwise, there is no person on earth who's gonna push me towards consumerism. Because when it comes to the business side of things, I know exactly what I wanna do you know rather than becoming the full-fledged consumer i like to serve consumers that's my that, like that's my role in life that's what i like to do and i've figured it out that's me that's it yours may be different you figure it out for yourself so i'm not going to be spending my energy where the society wants where you want where some uber girl comments some mean things or a man says something mean online no 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 no, I do what I feel like. My energy is guiding me towards this thing. That's exactly what I'm going to do. You should do the same. You have energy, spend it in your business. If you're a guy, you know, you spend a lot of energy because you have to step out of the house every day, deal with a hundred people every day, deal with all kinds of people every day. That takes a lot of energy. You spend it on that. You don't spend on extra things. You do not spend that on dating a hundred girls because it doesn't give you any results. 
Same goes for women. Don't be dating a hundred guys. It doesn't give you anything. In fact, here's a very sincere advice, by the way, in case anybody would need that, or if you're listening to this video, maybe in some next years or something. <laughs> I have a feeling my channel is gonna blow up on YouTube and these videos, well, not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe next year, lots of people are gonna be watching this. And I hope, and it's my wish, that the ones that need this message and want to wake up and grow up, it's for them. And I hope that they all get to see this, you know. So that's that. But here's the thing that, I mean, just now that I have it out of the way. Can somebody remind me what I was just talking about? That was important. That was important. Positive people energy shows on their faces like yours. That's very sweet. Thank you. Walaikum assalam Osama. Kaise ho bache? And Eid Mubarak ho aapko bhi. Thank you. Don't hope manifest. Yes, that's a good one. Saying something so important and then I got distracted. If you see this today, yes, a sincere advice, guys. If you see this today or if you're seeing this next year or whatever, girls and guys, I don't care if you're in your teenage or if you're in your 20s, even early 30s. An old advice from someone not that old, basically. Don't date too many people because it takes away a lot of your energy. <gasps> I'm telling you, your energy is like currency. You want to be radiant and be high frequency individual, top 10, top 10, top 10, that's it. Guess what? The only secret is to preserve that energy, to not give it freely to just everybody, not be hanging out with just everybody. Don't be making friends with Tom, Dick and Harry and every Tina and Mina should not be in your vicinity. Make space for the right people. I can tell you so many times, maybe I had to let a friend go. Hmm? Even if it was a very unhealthy relationship, no problem. Even if it's a very unhealthy relationship with very own people, let it go. Why? Because consciously, with full awareness, you are creating space for the right people in your life. Right? When you let the wrong friends go, what are you doing? You're not out there entertaining a hundred more friends just to look cool. We're not in high school, guys. We're not in high school, okay? What you do instead, you do the more cooler thing. You make space for the right people. We know this, right? Your vibe attracts your tribe. So what do you do? You save that capacity, you save their energy, and you allow space for the right friend to come. Same goes with relationship. If you are going through like really, really toxic relationship, where it's like, oh my God, my mental health. <laughs> oh, it's frustrating the hell out of me. And even though, same goes for girls. I, I think I've, I made this reel just two days ago. I posted on my Instagram. I don't know if you guys are seeing my reels or not. I would love if you guys engage with the reels. I think they're very good messages generally. Like they come from my heart. In that reel, I mentioned that if you're a high value woman, you will let a lot of high earners go. Okay, you just will. Why? Because they don't sit well with your morals, with your vision, with your value system. What you do, you let go, you make space for the right one. That's literally all you need to do. I cannot tell you, uh, well, I hope I don't get, I hope my family is not watching this, uh, but it's okay. I mean, it's just the reality and I'm going to be very open about this thing where I've had multiple times people literally with Lamborghinis, Ferraris, this, that, this, that, wanting to take me here, wanting to take me there, blah, 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 and sending me gifts and doing this and that. And how many times I have rejected that only because that person doesn't have the value set like I do. No, 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 I'm family people over here. <laughs> we don't do shit, okay? Again, I'm not here to disrespect anyone if you do that. Good for you, I am not nobody to judge. But I'm just saying that as a high value woman, you stay true to yourself and you do the things that feel right. And when things don't feel right, then it's like, uh, even though it's so tempting, but yeah, no. <laughs> does that make sense? It does pay off. It's fine. This way, you don't give your energy to random silly people who, who are just not soul aligned. How do you tap into feminine energy? Well, I think the first step would be dress up every day, even if you don't feel like it, even if it's like a lazy day, it's Sunday, at least get out of those crusty, not ironed, not very pleasant, not very aesthetically pleasing, those very bad colors, PJs, get out of them first of all dress up nice this goes again for both men and women you know they say dress for success they say this for a reason you are supposed to dress for success every single day and the more you do that the more you will see that your frequency is going to be set 
in a way on a daily basis where you're ready to receive all the blessings you're ready to receive everything that comes your way like you're ready for the day let it all come to me you're going to be ready for that does that make sense the more you dress up and you glam up and you show up every single day that's it it's it's almost like take it as a guarantee like guaranteed your life will change take it from me guaranteed things will change guaranteed your frequency will change guaranteed the results that you'll get in your life will change guaranteed the things that you attract in your life are going to change guaranteed that the friends and the relationships and the material and the possessions that you're going to attract are going to be of immense value because they're more soul aligned that's how you tap into your energy dress up be ready for it like be ready for the day there should be no emergency timings in your life like what's that for i feel like emergency timings is for lazy people that have no life purpose last minute they're going to get ready for things last minute they have to find the perfect dress last minute last minute last minute no how about every single morning you already sorted how about that how about having a life like that cheers to that so activate that goddess presence the goddess energy have you noticed how sometimes when people enter the room it's like whoa something about them they may not be the most beautiful one they may not be the more most hottest one they may not be the most charming ones but something about them when they enter the room like everybody pays attention why goddess energy they have activated that frequency it's the goddess energy they have tapped into that frequency the top 10 frequency that's what it is how to structure life with a lot of feminine energy nika nicole hi that's a lovely question i think structuring your life with feminine energy is going to become more easier once you get a hold of your own frequency right it's one thing to tap into your feminine energy and that's lovely that's what i'm talking about today but then at the same time your life like your lifestyle also requires a structure and when we talk about structures and patterns and containers normally they're very masculine you also need like a masculine container to be able to survive in this world you know you cannot always be he 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 delicate like, how you're going to get shit done you can't right so you have to have that balance and i feel like the the question that you've asked you will find a lot of answers to that and a whole strategy in the top 10% frequency course love like that's your course it's for the wholesome women who wants it all and has it all it's the social standing it's the education what she does with it how she moves through life what frequency does she hold on a daily basis what frequency she holds even for the neighbors we've discussed that how to get the most of everything that you have in your life how to leverage every single thing you have in your life around you really tap into the frequency get the most of everything that's it, it like your relationships your work life balance your family your work every single thing you will find a whole structure in there you'll find like a whole strategy in other words i think you're going to get so many answers i'm i'm so excited for you because you know when you enter the top 10 frequency course yeah your life is about to change because it's just it's magical even the creation of that for me was so magical like like it was just like inspiration and creativity flowing through me and it was just mind boggling to me to be honest ika i have so much feminine energy but i feel so chaotic all the time my life is all over the place needs a masculine and yes you need a masculine container you need frequency work that's what you have to do because that's going to give you a lot of answers because this is what you're asking me right now this is well probably this is not your only question if you have so much going on right now in so many different departments of your life 100% that means you have a lot more questions than only this and one answer is not going to do it for you right so yes turn on the goddess presence glam up dress up be in that frequency every single day and that's really going to help you tap into that goddess energy right because you're going to be ready for the day anything can come up you're ready to receive be ready to receive all the lovely things with ease and grace because it gets to be easy because you want it to be easy why does it have to be difficult there's nothing difficult about being feminine energy it's just a state of being but then having a a fully functional life at the same time now that requires a little bit work on your part also Mm-hmm. Well, a lot of you guys are not going to like to listen to this, but another way of tapping into that energy is okay. A lot of um, oh my god, I got distracted. 
a way to tap into that energy also is to start meditating. When you meditate, I think, I'm sure I don't have to even talk much about it, you guys already know, when you meditate, you become more self-aware, you become more present-minded. You're generally not even about your mind. I think it's more about your soul becomes more aligned with you. And that is, again, where a lot of magic can activate, a lot of luck can activate in your life and things become easier and easier. Meditation helps you be in that high vibe frequency. And to learn more on that, obviously, you, you guys are more than welcome to be in the top 10% frequency course. It's a whole container, has a whole structure in there, so many modules, so much work in there that if you start doing the work, it's like a, mm, not a college degree, but yeah, it's, it's important information that when you know this, then there is no going back. When you know this and you master this, you become the master of your own life of your own manifestations, of your own things that you bring into this world because you just got the hacks. That's it. Make sure you turn on the notification right now so that you will be notified every time I come live. And I shall see you again. I, I will post a, a reel on my Instagram, by the way, with my Eid uh, look. I shall see you in the courses. If any of you guys want coaching, my website is there on ladyisha.com. The links are like everywhere in the description, in the bio. You can work with me personally if there's anything you would like to discuss and you need some work done. I'm here for you. I'm currently taking bookings for the next month. And this month was wonderful. A lot of changes, a lot of, I feel like a lot of people were awakening. A lot of changes were happening. There was just something in the air. A lot of people were talking a lot about abundance. It was like the theme of the month. Even though I planned the theme of the month in June to be the high value men, but for some reason, it just navigated more towards abundance and wealth. And I think it was a theme between the students for the whole month. That was what everybody was asking, talking. And it was just like this whole abundant wealth, money-centered kind of energy. I loved it so much because from there, more and more growth comes, right? Because then you activate more of that um, money doors, I like to call them. The more doors you open, the more money can flow into your life. So that is literally, that was like the theme of the whole month of june eid mubarak uh Shumala, how are you today you like my face that's very sweet thank you very much hello zora i'm very well how are you eid mubarak to you and thank you guys for watching i will save this live for a very short period and then i'm going to delete it because this one is going to go on youtube and i hope that this video helped because today i just wanted to just spill it all out when it comes to feminine energy, the benefits that it gives you in your life and how to activate this energy. Thank you, Kamran. That's very, very sweet. I know I don't really do Mandy's. No, guys. Guys, if there's any relevant questions regarding this subject, please leave them in the comments below. And I shall see you guys in my next live. And watch this video from the beginning because I'm about to delete it and then I'm going to post this one on YouTube. Okay, guys. Bye.